We've somehow gotten on an angle. Let's do that. And one more time. Whoa, that was weird. Yay! Oh, we're excited to drop this time, I see. So here's the thing. Van de Graaff, a lot more effective than just a balloon and a patch of fur when it comes to static electricity. Because it's also, it is just going to start to pull in the things around us. Here I have a pile of paper. It wants the paper. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> Welcome back to the paper. But has anybody ever seen a Van de Graaff used to make somebody's hair stand up? Yep. Yeah, okay, that's a pretty common use for it. Now, my hair looks amazing. So instead, we are going to try this lovely wig, and I'd like to introduce you to my assistant, Vandy the Van de Graaff. Isn't she beautiful? Amazing. Yes, stunning, stunning. Um, and you may notice now... Not only are the electrons being stripped from the ball, they are being stripped from the hair as well. And I can put my hand here and that hair will grab onto my hand. It'll grab onto the electrons that I have and start to relax. But once I take it away, it'll start to reach out again. It can relax. It's going to reach out. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. <laughs> now also, if I take this little wand here and I go like this, what we have now done is we have grounded the Van de Graaff. We have completed a circuit, which is now allowing the electrons to cycle back in. We are no longer creating an imbalance because it is just continuing to just cycle through. But if we take it away, we have created that imbalance again. It starts looking for the electrons again. Happy, sad, happy, sad, happy, sad. Awesome. And now the last thing I like to do with my Van de Graaff is if I take these tiny little pie tins that kind of look like hats, we ground the Van de Graaff, and I put them on the Van de Graaff like a little hat. Once we remove the wand, again, the electrons are going to be stripped from the dome and the pie tins. And the pie tins, like the wig, is going to look for the electrons in the air around it. Whee! All right, let's okay, we have more, don't worry. And whee! There's more. Okay, last time, last time. Last time, tins I got. And... Wait. It's so amusing to me. So, yes, trying to pause the hats. Excellent. So now, do we think... Yeah, it's pulling at my hair, isn't it? Do we think that this is going to be enough for my life? I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, it's been doing some crazy stuff. But, ah, wrong button. There it is. We have our consistent charge. We have our large charge. Let's do this. I mean, mediocre at best, but like it's something. We got a little bit of light. Um, but here's the thing. We have that consistent charge, uh, and we have more power in order to give us that little bit of light, but we do not have enough electrical power. We need a larger charge. Um, and now I want to talk about voltage because this is just annoying. Nobody wants your light like that. So here's the thing. If we are talking about a AA battery, that's going to be about 1.5 volts. Very effective for us in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, pretty useful. Doesn't sound like a lot though. If we were to compare it to, say, our Van de Graaff, I'm just going to tuck this back here. We'll come back to the light bulb, don't worry. Our Van de Graaff is going to be about 50,000 volts. It's going to be a lot of volts. You also may have noticed it kind of just shocked my head. Not that many volts enough to hurt me in any way, but still a good amount of volts. And then we have our Tesla coil, which somebody had mentioned earlier. Our Tesla coil is going to be super, super cool because it can generate... 1 million volts, double the spice of the Van de Graaff. Um, so that is going to give us a lot, a lot, a lot of power. Before we use the test of fluid, though, I want to talk about what you're going to be seeing. And I want to talk about lightning. Because if I go back to my Van de Graaff, if I turn it on, you may have noticed there's a little bit of a spark that we can get. And this spark is going to look like lightning. Whoa. Because it is cool. going to be the same stuff as lightning. It also may cut out my mic because electrical interference, electricity loves to be dramatic. But that said, 
This isn't going to be electricity in and of itself. Neither is lightning. What this is, though, is a visible evidence of the electrical power we are generating. I've mentioned that the electrical potential existing around us is always going to be invisible. This is just a tiny bit of it that has been so energized it is now visible. But it is barely even a fraction of the power being generated. So, you can also hear that click. That click is going to be what we associate with lightning being thunder. Because when you get plasma, because that's what this stuff is, it is something called plasma, it is going to break the sound barrier a little bit. So what I want everybody to do is I want you to become an atom with me now, and I want you to grab your fists as electrons and put them in orbit, and on the count of three, I want you to throw your electrons into the air. One, two, three, ah! Okay, one more time. One, two, three, ah! Okay, one more time. One, two, three, ah! Congratulations, you just made a thunderstorm. Awesome, good job. Yeah, round of applause for yourself. Thunder. And that is because that's all it is. It is the electrons shooting off, they're generating light, they're generating heat, they're generating a little bit of that noise. And all this means is that our Tesla coil is gonna be a little loud and is gonna be a little sparky. So, when I turn it on, we're gonna start to hear a fan whir. And we're no longer dealing with static electricity like my balloon and my Van de Graaff. We are dealing with current electricity. We are drawing our power from the ground source of a building. And we are holding that charge in these two blue things called capacitors. If I were to touch those, my heart becomes very sad. But we don't do that. And if I were to just go like this, the Tesla coil is now ready to be discharged. And if I were to go like this, thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning, boom, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, that's what we're working with. That is yeah. it. We are seeing all of that super spicy stuff coming right out of that super important paperclip. Science. Now, you also may notice the tube behind it is starting to glow as well. And that is because, again, that is a small fraction of the power being generated. Apart from what we are seeing, there is also a whole bunch of other supercharged electrons around it that can now jump to the stuff inside of this tube, the matter inside of that tube, and cause it to get enough power to generate plasma itself. We have so much extra energy in the electrons that this is generating that not only are we getting plasma, from the Tesla coil, we are generating plasma just out of the matter in these tubes. That is a lot of power. But I can add more. Because we can increase the rate at which we release the electrons, which means I can increase the frequency and change the pitch. Be a weird way to end the show if it didn't. So, let's see. What we have to do though first is we just have to do a little recap about what we have now figured out about electricity in order to send it into our light bulb. So we're talking about electricity and we're talking about flow. What is flow is going to be our electrons jumping from atom to atom. We are taking the electrons that this Tesla coil is generating and sending them to the light. So what is flowing? Electrons, exactly. And then, if it is flowing through me, well, not this way, but through the air, through the light bulb, through the stuff, what is the scientific word for stuff? Matter. It is electrons flowing through matter, and then how is it flowing? It flows from many to few. It flows where there is less to flow and find balance. So the lot of electrons is flowing to the little electrons inside of our lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lights off. We are going to make it very dark in order to get a lovely view of 
our light bulb. And it's dark. So, are we ready? Yep. Already better than the Van Graaff. Cool. Let's add more light bulbs. electrical potential exists around you in truly shocking ways. And since you just hung out with a Tesla coil surrounded by some extra spicy electrons, you are slightly spicier now. Do with that what you will. And if you have any questions, you might just a little have one for us here today at the museum. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> 